Make some noise for Dia Basri! Like, instead of first going after Jeff Bezos, I think we should start by going after a man named Preston Bezos. I found Preston's Instagram. <laughs> and I bully him. <laughs> and remind him that his parents got divorced. <laughs>
<laughs> no, a fan, baby. We met uh, we met Dia. Uh, you played melee. You were like always way better than everyone. You were in the same region as like the people we started playing with, and then you went to college in San Diego, and then you remained good. And there was a time where Ringler was playing Donkey Kong, and he was defeating every Marth across SoCal, <laughs> and you were the only one that would actively dodge him at tournaments. Yeah. You, you would just, like, you would drop out of bracket. What? Did you ever drop out of bracket? I never dropped out of bracket, but he was asked to money match, and then sort of the, I would say that I'd only money match you where, uh, if you win, you cannot tell a single soul in the world. <laughs> yeah. But there'd be no money. He'd give me money if I won. But if I if, if he won, <laughs> but if he won oh, it yeah. would have to he, be kept. He got neither any money nor recognition <laughs> at all. It was just a privilege but, of But playing. that's how bad Ringler wanted the game. Yeah. Like he, all Ringler wanted to say was that he beat every Marth in the SoCal. And Dia was the last Power Stone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, can I tell you something embarrassing? Yeah. There's this guy, I forget his name, but he was like this SoCal Fox sweat. And he had amazing tech skill. And he was like, you know, classic. He would get like 9th, 13th at what, a regional or something. What year is this? This is 2018, maybe. Uh, he's very good. You, you would probably know him if you saw his face. I can't remember his name, though. Uh, and he'd love doing Gotta money matches. Kramer. Maybe he, Kramer. No, it was not Kramer. He'd love doing money matches. He'd throw out $5. be like, $5 money match. And the moment he gets knocked out of bracket. And I'm walking by, and he like kind of traps me like a car salesman. He's like, $5 money match. And I like, I, I, like I'm, I know this guy's Fox. So like, I, I, I hate playing against him as Puff because he'd like camp out, laser camp perfectly. But I was like, all right, fine. And we play. And then, uh, and then he takes game one. I'm like, oh. I like already regret doing it. Not even because the $5 just hurts to lose. Game two, I win. Instantly, I'm like, I'm out. He's like, what? I'm like, I give him $5. I walk away. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's so smart. And I was like, I was like I, we are 1-1. One, one. You can have the $5, but I'm not going to play game three. You brought it even, and then you, you said, Sharks, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I already knew he was ready to counterpick to some fucking, you know, the good stage. stage. <laughs> Did you say good some ones. stage or six stages? But then, <laughs> but then if you don't play, he'll never know. He'll never know. He'll never and, know. And the crazy yeah. part is he's watching this right now trying to explain to people, like, this is me, and no one believes it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm that fun. It's like, you keep telling it's people like this. You weren't good in 2018. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so so that's how we know Dia, and then Dia was on Bad Melee, an episode, two episodes, and then um, yard is a crazy question. One one realization I had, I think I maybe said this before, is like one day I like posted like an insane melee combo that I hit on Twitter, and the tweet flopped compared to me saying like poopy diaper LMAO slime, and like that one pops off. Yeah, uh, and I was like, oh, I don't have any melee followers really anymore. Like most people who follow me are like Ludwig adjacent or like people who watch the yard. And I was like, that was a dark day when I realized that my followers don't come from like this community that I came from. Uh, do you think that if if uh, you posted, wait, what, were you, what was the tweet you just said? Or what was the thing you just talked about? Ted Kaczynski? Uh, no, Rest fuck. easy? How did I just miss that? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say that. <laughs> yeah. What? You can't just say that casually. No, we, we're, what? No, we're, I, we're no, titling, I said it in private. Why wouldn't I say it in private? We're titling this episode that you don't have to <laughs> double praise. I, I blanked on what we were just talking about. But uh, it's important to what if I'm Slime were to put up a combo video or something, um, or to, uh, no, the Gio Rossi followers. playing against. Fucking don't don't put your feet on the thing. Don't I, put your feet no, on I the guess thing. it doesn't matter. I guess I, I don't put your feet on the thing. I guess I forgot. I guess it's gone. He really is a pro. Uh, it's looking. It's too early in the morning. The edges are looking. Wait, you nice don't remember and either what we were talking about. Yeah, that's not my job, dude. I think about the same thing you thought about. Like when you reach a certain level of success, the people who care about you are not who you want it. Because for me, it's just like you just want to impress people from your high school. That's all, but it all <laughs> yeah. comes down to deep in your heart. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Your crush from high school, like, seen you. <laughs> yeah. But it's never that. Is, is that where you're at? Is, has it happened? You're, that's the Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He made absolutely. Facebook just for the, well, at least in the movie, The Social Network. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, and I watched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you also, I, there, there's what always pissed me off about Dia, is that you, are, are you, like, getting your PhD? Yeah, that's so what? fucking annoying. What? Yeah, isn't that, what? isn't that crazy? In neuroscience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, stand again. Go fuck yourself. In neuroscience? <laughs> no one knows what that oh, is. I thought you said euroscience. <laughs> In euro, oh, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be cringe. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the the material to make all the French gay. <laughs> it's just like a house beat classes. It's only. also funny because like I've known <laughs> Dia for a long time and I've talked to Dia a lot and Dia has never once like mentioned neuroscience like in passing or in conversation or flexed science about the brain. It's not that easy to bring up. But like, <laughs> but like if, <laughs> sure, but like if you know someone who's like really into something, they're like, we'll find a way to work it into their life because like no one cares and yeah. they want someone to care. That's what the Ringler money matches are for. <laughs> Dia's just there like, by yeah. the way, let me tell you about a cool feel. He never got me. <laughs> Did, uh, are you ashamed? 
that oh. I never was able to beat no, Ringler when it no, mattered. No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you think beating Ringler would have gotten your high school crush to like you? I think it really would have changed my whole path Whoa. trajectory. Yeah, you'd be I... a broke pro smasher right now <laughs> in a shit jersey. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I won the match, yeah, I would continue. <laughs> yeah. So I could do anything. I beat Ringler when <laughs> I beat the monkey. It's it's fine. Ringler's really. OnlyFans might have started like five years earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he, he would have made the website so that he could use it. <laughs> Him and he Brian Silva founders. <laughs> he, he loses. He loses to the first Marth, and he's like, "I need to show my penis to people." <laughs> <laughs> but I can't do it. Publicly. Regular being the Jasmine Rice girl of OnlyFans is very funny to me. <laughs> The, fa- the founder, yeah. <laughs> just the yeah. founder. Slime well, has this thing where he like uses. No, no, like, no. She, she has a very pr- no, Twitter. I, presence. I know this. I know this. But earlier you said like, oh, well, Breslin it in response to like making a long term joke. Yeah, and you could have just you know like there's way better examples in Breslin. Is no, there's like, not. There's two syllables, and you got the point. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you know, long term joke is three there. syllables. He kind of owned your ass. <laughs> um, are, what is, what is it in your brain that makes you good at stuff? You just do you hate being bad at stuff? A dick. I don't think I'm that good at many things. I've just been doing a lot of things for a while. Like, do you think? Okay, first oh, of all, I I why did you just energy, make us bro. all take a humble suppository with that sentence? Because if you're better <laughs> in, than everyone here in melee and chess and rock climbing. And stand Neuros- up. Neuroscience. And, well, that one I don't care about. <laughs> Are you better at rock climbing, too? Yeah, he's better than me at rock climbing. <laughs> I like climbing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the <laughs> thing. Then, then you can't sh- shove those uh, humble suppository up our bums, because you're better than all of us, and we try. Right? I try a lot real He tries hard. real hard. You try hard? Why are you better than him in Melee? He tries real hard. <laughs> wait a are minute. You, do you put Valorant? <laughs> no, wait a minute. I'm dude, understanding. No. I'm, I'm understanding. I'm, I'm really bad at Valorant. No, dude, the yeah. other day. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm really bad at Valorant. I'm Diamond 2. I think the other day, but this is like two years ago. Uh, I follow him on Twitch, but every time he streams, he has literally zero viewers. That's what you're better at. Uh, stream. <laughs> Uh, Let's go. And, uh, and this time, it like it went live, and it was like Dia is playing Valorant, and I was like, no, 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 you can't take this one away from me. And I click into it, and it's Dia's brother playing Valorant on his Twitch account, and I'm like, I'm like, this isn't Dia. I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out what's happening. And I'm like, he looks so different when he plays this one. God, imagine Dia fires it up, and there's just a little radiant icon, and it's just like, oh, like, I couldn't handle it's it. It's just like come eater 420, and it's like, no. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Do you it. only pursue things with the intent of getting somewhat good at it or confident at it? No, I just I get really into things. I, I don't really care about getting good, but all the things I like done, I had gone into when I was like going to college. And I feel like when you go to college, you get obsessed with things. I started climbing and doing stand up and playing a lot of melee all around the same time. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of been, yeah, doing it pretty much every day ever since. So, along with, you know, neuroscience. What do you, what do you shit at? What is that? What oh, are you bad at? <laughs> like, what's your worst? What's yeah. something that you try at and like you do it a lot, but you're just bad? Well, I, I like chess. Like, compared to the amount of time I spent stop. on it, um, do you stop? And probably <laughs> shooting games. Yeah, I, I, I play. I played a good amount of Valorant over the pandemic, and I uh, was always terrible at it. Would you peak? I was like gold three or something. Oh, gold one, maybe. The lowest, lowest <laughs> one. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Was Valorant your first shooter? Uh, I played a bit of Halo 3 in high school. Uh, like my the, first, uh, like, that's counter strike But it's your first, like, mouse and keyboard shooter? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. <sighs> I have good fundamentals, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm though. sure, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. But, like, what, what we did... So, Dia's been doing stand-up for a long time. Dia's always been just, like, generally funny as well. And so, uh, we, like, started uh, this podcast called The Yard. You may have heard of it. And we got, like, really... It, success, we made a lot of money from it mm. that we still make, and we're like, you know what we should do? We should shoot like a comedy special for Dia, because he's been doing Well, we, well first we said forever. for ourselves, we realized none of us are funny. Um, <laughs> we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, and then we, we were, were like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, like, wait, I have an abortion joke from 2016 I want to run by you later. I still run think it, that's a good joke. Run it right now. Oh, I don't know if I'm prepped enough. I got to kind of... Your Jesus prepped? joke is still funny. Bro, you, you just said, oh, I have a great story. I'll tell it later. That's what you just did. Well, I, I want to run it by him later. I'm just... Yeah, we have him here on the okay, show. Okay, fine. Uh, I, I don't really remember it, so, like, c- cut me some slack here. <laughs> this is going to be it's, good. This is about, like, seven years old. Welcome it, to the uh, the quad, the ASU uh, Sun Devil Square. It's Lowey. It's Lowey, everyone. Okay. Some, for Tempe some, late night. For, for, some, some, for some context. For, for some four games. Lowey, walk out. Lowey, walk out. Bear down. Yeah, walk out. Bear down. Okay, for a little bit of context, this is before they overturned Roe v. Wade. 
Don't know what that is. We're Too many the abortions these days, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question, because everyone is always asking, you know, what, when does a baby become a baby? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Democrats are like, right before it's about to come out. And Republicans are, it's like, when you Boo! think of... Hey, what's your name, man? <laughs> what's your name, man? Breslin. Breslin? That's a uh, bitch. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, with Republicans, it's like right when well, they- Well, it's TikTok. I don't want to be on it, for sure. <laughs> the crux of the joke, all right, is that- the, Don't explain the joke the, to the no, sorry, sorry. I, it, I, I You have to rephrase the question. It's not when does a baby become a baby. It's when does it count as a threesome? <laughs> Ludwig! Wow. Uh, wow. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then I so went, what are your thoughts? I went, I went real deep on that part. You spent a while on that? On the, on the threesome The part. idea of a threesome and like a baby the is baby the third. Being a Did part you ever of it, yeah. deliver this joke to a group of, oh, it's a filmed. large group of people? Yeah, it's filmed. It's oh, on, this yeah. is in a video. Yeah, it would show up on a stream. People like, yo, I found this, I found this hidden gem and it's got like 50,000 views of Ludwig doing stand up in college. Six figures these days. This is before Roe v. Wade, Aiden. Don't look at me like that. This is <laughs> yeah. a different time. No, three ways with babies before <laughs> Roe v. Wade was... <laughs> Those were chill. Nick was right. <laughs> <laughs> I did like, uh, people are having too many abortions nowadays. That's really funny. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was the funniest yeah. part. Yeah. That's a good setup. That's like, that's like on our, that's like how right wing comedy is. Yeah. Like, it's just like a political thing with nothing more or less than that. It's just like, a, abortions are bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's that, uh, there's that comedy club that Joe Rogan opened, right? And it's like in Texas and you're not, you have to check your phone at the door. Yeah. Which is really Mothership. funny. Because it's like, don't be afraid. Just be you. They it's do that. okay. They do that. They've done that. That's been a thing. Well, it, it, What's yeah. his name? Does that Dave Chappelle? A lot of shows do. <laughs> well. I, I was, so when I was a proposal writer at a government engineering company, I promise this is interesting. I went to a, I went to, <laughs> no, it doesn't work on me. I went to a, conf or a con, a conference to learn how to write better proposals with my boss. It was in fucking Seattle. First time I've been there. And they opened the, the final day of the conference. They hired a stand up comedian and it was like an 8 a.m. show. <laughs> I've never heard of this guy in my life. I, it was like an hour long show. It was pretty good. I was like, who the fuck? What industry is this? No, this is impressive. crazy to do well at 8 a.m. I think if you're up at seven, you're not gig. funny. I think that's a rule of my life. If you're someone who wakes up at seven every day, you're probably just not very funny. It was so weird. And so it's just a bunch of like fucking boring people listening to comedian at, at 8 a.m. Sunday morning. And uh, he, so someone starts filming during the show, like 20 minutes into the show, he dead stops. Like he was like a real jovial guy, dead stops. Like, excuse me, can you f put the phone away, please? And it was like, it destroyed wow. the vibe. Ooh, it, it is funny fucked. to be like someone doing corporate gigs to make a living, but also having like all this artistic in integrity. <laughs> of like, this is my act. I don't want it to go out to the public. <laughs> it was, it was so. It killed the vibe. You're, it was like you're opening it. at like a Deloitte conference meeting. <laughs> yeah, but but no one will record this. Crowd work would kill at a conference like I that. I think it smashes. It's fish barrel. Yeah. What department are you in? And then you just shit on the department. And yeah, yeah. and all the other departments are like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Work is like that. Also, I hate to break the flow, but I remembered what I was going to say earlier. This will be good. I remembered it. I was going to say, <laughs> do you think that when you say bad melee on our show, a majority of people know what you're talking about? No. I but it's, but mm. it's fun to say things, like, and so people who don't know will be like, oh, yeah, the, yeah. Like, at home. He's going to make them nervous. At home, they'll be like, yeah, bad melee. <laughs> and they'll look it up and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the D episode. I think it's like a lose-lose, because the people who don't get it just lose out on the understanding of what you're saying, and the people who do get it, if they go to your chat and they're like, I like bad melee, you tell them to kill themselves. Yeah. No, I so, don't do that. And it's just a lose-lose. <laughs> <laughs> gatekeeping is, is cool. We are a nation of gatekeepers, and we should continue to oh do so. Oh my god, Rainbolt did the dopest shit. Yeah, it was so sick. Yeah, but that's not gatekeeping. That's the opposite of it. If, is you, don't know, if you don't know Rainbow, no, it's it's being a hater. Rainbow, the GeoGuessr guy. There's someone who was on TikTok who's like, "This bagel's so good," and he's eating the bagel, and he's like, "I'll never tell you where my bagel's at." In New York City, yeah. and then and then Rainbow spends like the next sixty hours of his week just finding where the bagel is, finds it, posts it. Finds the owner of the bagel shop, tells him to name that bagel the Rainbolt. And if you go to the shop and you ask for the Rainbolt, you'll get that guy's bagel. That's Dotsy. That's illegal. I don't support that. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He's like, he's like, this is where you sat. He's like, this is the seat you sat in. It was very sick. But it's it's both sides of the coin. 
gatekeeping is cool, but if a giant hater comes through and doesn't like it, then he wins. You know? That's okay. I'm a man of code, is what I'm trying to say to you, Ludwig Dudders. Dubbin. Stop, stop. Don't, don't, don't do baby talk with me right now. Dubbin. Um, stop. We're, we're our own company. <laughs> no, wait. You're, uh, you're doing your neuroscience PhD right now, but you're also, like, you, you filmed uh, a comedy special. Where is your... I was wondering what your life is going to turn into. Like, which yeah. fork are you following? Mm. Yeah, I feel like I am like a pretty bad grad student. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't do you don't do good work. <laughs> yeah, I don't do my homework <laughs> <laughs> to this day. No, I I I, I, yeah, I don't I think try. you're allowed yeah. to be working on a PhD, but also talk about homework like the rest of us. Right, right. Like, like, oh, oh, ah, shit. <laughs> my school sucks. Oh, I got homework to do. It's like, <laughs> it it's like you're about to be my doctor. You're not allowed to. <laughs> Not like homework. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. So this is my first time. I like took years off before I went back to grad school. So this is my first time like having to write like the name and date in the top right of something. Oh. And it was pretty painful that first moment where it's just like, and you get to write the subject on line yeah, paper. Yeah, you're, you're back. Right. I have a pencil case and shit. It's, it's oh. fucked up. That's yeah. fucked up. How old are you? I'm 25. Damn. Whoa. You're like, you're like still you wondering if you can get away with like two, like 2.5x spacing on the paper. <laughs> right, right. I'm making my periods. <laughs> What's the on fourteen? On, uh, yeah, the periods, <laughs> periods 14. Uh, Dude, you got AI now, though. You can just win. Do you use AI? No, I, I, I am. Oh, yeah. Most of our events like take home and it's you can't really use AI for the, the stuff. It doesn't really help too much. No, I'm what? interested. Are you it's like, it's like, like draw, draw a picture of what hands look like and then explain the brand <laughs> next to it. <laughs> Tell me what happened after September 2021. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> My one weakness. Yeah, you're working on research when you're in your PhD, right? Like yeah. you're not You're not like studying something that already exists and then like answering questions about it. You're like making the right. material. Yeah, most of uh, most like you, you take one or two classes max, and you mostly do research. And classes are mostly like just discussing a, a new paper. What if I told you that there is a guy out there? He should be studied. Who has said the phrase "all right, man" in an <laughs> Eastern European accent twelve thousand times since COVID started? <laughs> now get get him in, get him into the lab. Do you think that would be an interesting <laughs> thing to sort of like dissect and? There's a tumor in there, and we need to remove it right now. Right, and it's shaped like all righty man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Joker. Right. <laughs> I'm tired of pretending. What is neuroscience? It's just uh, the study of the brain. Um, That's it. Why do they call it br what? See, yeah. Wait, you guys okay. didn't know this. Thank yeah. God, because I, I knew someone else here didn't know. No, it. You know what Don't neurons oh, yeah, are? Explain it. Explain it. Go ahead. Yeah, it's like the study of your brain and neurons <laughs> and like what the different parts of it and how they work together. And Does it include the brain's connection to the spine? Probably. Yeah, the spinal cord is included. <laughs> but yeah, that is buckled so The spinal, that's spinal cord is called the long yeah, that's brain. Part of your, your spine is part of your neurosystem, right? Uh -huh. Which yeah. part of the brain is the most delicious? Ooh. It was yeah. weird because I did take a class where you, like, my first time, you dissect like a human yeah. brain and what? you like, cadavers. And, and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you take a little bite. Yeah. A little bit of, of, the, the, of the forbidden yeah. flavor. We, we make the first years eat the cadavers. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, you get crazy. You don't love here, though. Fuck around a little bit. You get you you will get a disease. That's, that. Was that was that horrifying? I mean, it is weird because like, so like, there's like the, the the body and then uh, there's like a the little card. That well, has the brain's the, still in the body. Well, so you're, you're using a full cadaver. No, you're not using a full cadaver, but there's bodies around you. So you get the brain itself, yeah. but then you're essentially the cadaver's used for other things. So you kind of know where it came from. And there's a card that says like the name of the person and how they died. Dude, that's fucked up. And the fucked up oh. part is like it's eight. It's like eight thirty. And I got, I got things to do. So <laughs> you're like, I need my coffee. So yeah, I, so I finish early on this, and this is the, the last part of this guy that'll exist in the human realm. It's like his body, his last donation, and I'm just like, ah, we'll do this. We'll figure out this other section later. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I'm gonna call it a day. You're not even using his whole body. <laughs> Some dude putting his like organ donor thing, yes, on his driver's license right now is like. My body will be used for science, yeah. and it's actually getting <laughs> fucking left. Yeah, what so the fuck, man? That'll be me one day, okay? You're, no, you're, um, are you, you're an organ, organ donor? Well, I'm part of California's evil system where they get motorcyclists to give their organs up. You don't oh, know yeah. motorcyclists are the highest organ donors in the state, and they give out those licenses for free. They are, they're, your organs are the most delicious to us. I got yeah. delicious. Me and Zipper's organs are going to come to you, so use them, man. Bring them home or something.
Yeah. Freeze them. Did I ever tell you guys in seventh grade we dissected frogs and I put the frog liver in my pocket? Ew. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that? <laughs> you're a scientist. Dude, I'm dude, mostly he, the pipeline. Dude, you're I'm definitely scientist. autistic. <laughs> no, I'm like, definitely. Autistic. No, this is like, th this is not even the first I put meat in my pocket story. <laughs> You would have a trend I did put of Sam putting in meat in your pocket. <laughs> What'd you do with the liver, man? No, the, the seventh grade, we detected frogs. It was cool, uh, you know? And then, so, but the, the frog liver, it looked like a big old thick penny. Zipper, look at frog liver. <laughs> and, uh, what? And I just, I just kept it. I don't know. What'd you do with it? So I brought it to my next class, which is reading <laughs> fifth period with Miss Patterson, who was a babe. Oh, that's a teacher name. And she got flowers sent to her one day, so you know she was fucking. So that's cool. Yeah. I have my frog liver on the desk. And you give it to her. And she's like, what's that? Ugh. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It, it, it just it's like old times. Ugh. Yeah, and, uh, this still fucks me up. I didn't want to do it in high school. I don't want to do it now. And I set it on the desk, and she's like, "What? What is that?" And I'm like, "It's from Mr. Burwell's fucking seventh grade class. We just dissected frogs." Uh, and she's like, "Throw that away and wash your hands." And then I got yelled at a little. She's bit. right. Yeah, formaldehyde so, is dangerous. I don't know who's to say what is dangerous or not. Question. But what I'm saying is, I'm like you. Yeah, Dia. I didn't. I didn't take a piece of the. You didn't brain. take a man's brain with you? <laughs> well, that's gotta be a crime. I, it must be. Yeah. I think that has to be. There's like a be. HIPAA for neuroscience people. Did you see bro's meat? No. <laughs> no. Don't <laughs> phrase it like that. Don't phrase it like that, man. Have you seen cadaver penises? No, no. They, they, they cover. They eat those? <laughs> <laughs> that's a delicacy. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's what the French operate on. <laughs> Did you know when, if you get an ACL replacement, it's cadaver tendon? Did you know that? That's for real. What does that mean, cadaver tendon? Like a dead person's tendon gets grafted onto your body. Like I don't want someone else's real life tendon. I don't want that. I, you no, know, you see some guy limping. He <laughs> 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 like, was really bad at basketball. We just took it from him. Yeah, he, he didn't never need, need it. it. <laughs> he's, he's got a desk job. He'll be fine. But yeah, they put like a, a dead man's tendon in your leg. And it's, it's like the procedure. It's pretty cool, kind of. What parts of your brain can you live without? I think like uh, actually uh, a lot of the outer parts, like the so so the outer parts, like the cortex, mm -hmm. which is kind of like the higher level stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of like stuff we discovered about the brain is a lot of just people who get stabbed in the brain, <laughs> and then you see like <laughs> that how happens a lot. Well, there's like a famous like Phineas Gage. Yeah, Phineas Gage yeah, yeah, yeah. has we like talked a about him. Railroad yeah. spider's prefrontal cortex. Oh yeah, and everyone, it's funny because <laughs> the whole study is like he got stabbed in the brain. And he's like a huge asshole now. So it must be like an asshole part of your brain <laughs> yeah. that makes you a dick. Yeah, yeah. Stab there. It's a button in the center. Right. <laughs> so yeah, it's <laughs> Dude, that that diagram is so That's funny. a hard profile picture. <laughs> it is at, uh, like insane that he lived that. I actually have never seen it. It's been a while yeah. since I've seen the picture. He walks into the doctor. He's like. I got a bit of a problem. <laughs> no, and that photo is him holding the railroad spike that went through his brain. He's not, that, that's the thing that went through him. And he that's did a tight. photo shoot with it. But he was all, he's a dick to everyone on set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's a dick because everyone keeps asking him about it. Everybody's Real chirping shit. about it. Yeah, Real he's shit. like, he's like, yeah, man, I fucking lived it. He just it's got a fat headache. Years. It's like me streaming. Everybody asks yeah. me the same question. I just want them to ask something else about me. Yeah, oh, we, well, he looks kind of like Tucker Carlson. Am I crazy? What? Yeah, you're crazy. We should get you in a neuroscience lab to see if that happened when you were a baby. <laughs> That's why you are the way you are when you stream. He's like, no, baby, I, I thought you holding the railroad yeah. spike. Yeah. <laughs> I got tubes in my ears. Does that count? Were you, what the fuck that I mean? don't know. My mom always told me she had, you had tubes in your ears when you were a baby. I'm like, That's crazy. You don't know what that means? You're, you're you didn't ask? ask? I, I don't ask questions. You guys are, what are you, a cop? Dude, I, dude, I went to uh, the doctor recently and the, the nurse was like super interested in my, my scar along my hairline. And she was, and she knew exactly what it was. Like she was like, "Did you have a, uh, uh, and it what was it called a tissue expander when you were a baby?" And I was like, "Yeah, how the fuck do you know that?" And uh, she was like, "And then she was like, what hospital?" And I was like, "Uh," <laughs> I told the hospital. She's like, "I might have done it." Whoa. That's crazy. She was, she was like, "I did tissue expanders exclusively at that hospital when I was a nurse." Uh, from like these years to these years, and I was like, I'm that age. It'd be she, crazy if you put down that fraud living in front of Miss Patterson. She was like, tubes in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of steel like, putting liver uh, in your pocket. Yeah, there, but that happened. I was like, whoa. Maybe, yeah. maybe it was you, Shorty. That's kind of that's kind of hype. Imagine you guys got married. 
She's, she's gotta be like, like forty. Yeah, like forty. Years. She oh, was is that a problematic a age range? She was a nurse when he was a baby. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird. But he grew up. It's like the ultimate grooming. <laughs> <laughs> I was also busy. I was like, I just come out of surgery. Put him in the best. I don't think she, I don't think she was looking. Yeah, special. I wanted to make sure his hairline looked really good for twenty years down the line. For me, I was like, I don't know if it was you, but thanks. I think you saved me a lot of embarrassment in high school. I mean, we all saw the pictures of what you used to look like. Ugh. Grotesque. Yeah. Truly. Bit of a freak. <laughs> yeah. You know, I realize that I never wear sunscreen. and I'm, it's like It shows. Prob- that's like it shows. shows. It shows. It shows skin. on your face and every part of your, your skin. It shows. It's kind of... You, you look like a 46-year-old man. 47-year-old man skin. You got the elephant if they skin. Hit, if they hit you with that UV camera, you'd look like a ghoul. You look like fondant that has been <laughs> dropped. <laughs> And you guys don't want to look like that, which is why today we're sponsored by Native, specifically Native that? Sunscreen. <laughs> Native is great because it's quickly absorbing, lightweight, and it also helps you from UVA and UVB rays. The thing is, if you don't wear sunscreen, you will age. You'll and look, you will like look like Nick. No, don't look at yourself. Oh, look, yeah. Come on, we're, we're doing a we're don't don't be vain. Thing. Don't be, now's not the time to oh, be vain. It's a little vain of you to do I this. I don't see it. It's vegan and cruelty-free what oils, SPF 30, protection from UVA, UVB, like Ludwig just said. What is you, elephant UV, skin? UV rays, Shine through even on cloudy days, and they can oh. be bad Let for you. Let me say, if you did use native sunscreen, You'd what smell nicer what, too. what scent would you like? Yeah, pick because a scent. you obviously don't, because you look terrible. Pick a scent because you need scent to drink water. Which scent bad. would you like to put I'd on like your skin? I think I'd like to be peach and nectar. You want like rose or elephant or skin? I I look like I have. You, have you do look like skin? you got elephant skin. Yeah. You basically look like your own dad plus some more years. You look like you're about to become a Dior bag. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you so much to Native Sunscreen, guys. If you want to give your skin the protection it deserves... Did uh, they send with, us product? Yep, with Native's yeah. Mineral Sunscreens. You mm-hmm. should wear sunscreen every they day, They actually Nick. desperately sent it to us because they, have, saw they saw Can you. I have, yeah. Can much I, like absolutely. climate change, it is too late for you. Uh, get 20% <laughs> off your first order by going to nativeto.com slash the yard or use promo code the yard at checkout. That's native deo.com slash the yard. It can't be or too you late. I'm can young. use promo and, code and the yard to check out for twenty percent off your first order. Is it too late to turn climate change around? Yeah, yeah, that for sure that. And for, for sure that. Yeah. But not too late for you. Wear sunscreen every day. So I do. Enjoy that. Native Dio. Hey, thanks. Cut back to the b- native Dio. Hey, thanks. Back to the <laughs> podcast. I don't think this feeling will ever go away. What do you what is it? If you end up your program, you finish it. What do you end up doing? Let's say all comedy is outlawed. Yeah. What what the liberals want. <laughs> there's, like, yeah. there's like 40 <clears throat> sketches about this. It's hey. like comedy clubs in 2040. And it's like. What's up with gay people? And then it's like police show up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go he's outlawed because the liberals win. Yeah. And everyone's gay uh-huh. with each other. Yeah. Yeah. What and you have to be a neuroscientist. What yeah. the what does that even mean? I think Are you like a doctor? Yeah, I think there's like two paths. One is like saying in academia. So like a postdoc is you do more research and then you teach and become faculty. So that's like one. And the other is like I'm like a computational neuroscience. I do like a lot of programming. So there's all like the software you can, you can go into like software or just like ai <laughs> development at like mm. meta or something ai they, can they, map brain good i saw the rest yesterday <laughs> whoa <laughs> right. it nice. does that's nature kiddo. paper exactly yeah, yeah that's what they called it <laughs> <laughs> you could go on to enslave us all at Neuralink. yeah oh i have a career path for you hit me very popular okay so people they go to school a long time they, they become an experts at their field and then they they get really ripped and then uh, they make a YouTube channel and then they explain it all for dummies. So an example, of this is like legal eagle. Legal eagle. And then you just react to stuff and you'd be like neuroscience YouTuber. And you'd be, again, you're Dude. ripped. Yeah. And like the doctor guy, <laughs> the doctor guy. And then you're like, Dr. Mike, and you're like, yeah, so actually AI brain scans are crazy. And this is why. And then you can react to TV shows where they have brains in it. Yeah, Dude. get on the get yeah, on the I'm horn before there. Wired gets you. Could to be you. Like a, you'd be like the hip-hop neuroscientist, and you'd be like, <laughs> like dope music on YouTube where you explain the brain. reacts to Grey's Anatomy. Dude, that's yeah. good. There's a whole market. And yeah. then you have cerebral bars. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, you don't go I for, like, I think that's what Immortal Technique did. I think Immortal Technique was a neuroscientist first. Yeah. This is literally what my mom tells me. She's like, you like comedy? Well, you should go into, like, brain science and be funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like your like, parents' way of being like, just just get the degree. And, no, and exactly. Do that. They're like, it, that's good for science if you have a good sense of humor about it. <laughs> just, you know what's funny <laughs> is I uh, what I didn't think about when we shot Dia's special. We did two two shows back to back. It was like forty five minutes. And uh, the first one, your parents came to. Yeah. And the next Wait, one what? was right. I missed o- that. You, no, yeah, because remember he left out a joke. 
because his parent it was about his parents in, in the first set. Really? Yeah. Dude, I was not put onto this. No one told me this. Oh, I thought you knew I thought no. we did genuinely talked about it, but but yeah, Dia left out a joke from the second from the first set because his mom and dad were right there. Yeah. And then you said and it's very funny. I don't even I don't even want to repeat it because I understand why you did <laughs> why you did it. What, is it bad? Yeah, it just kind of throws Dia's one of those comments. <laughs> <laughs> you never go home and think, "Well, oh, today's the day." <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a Menendez brothers joke, but I realized literally no one would get it. So I'm sorry. I think people would get that. They were very popular because they're really. You know about the Menendez yeah, brothers? They were. They they I don't, they had a huge resurgence on TikTok because they're hot. Oh, mm-hmm. Dia, would you ever kill your parents? No, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Is this some, is this what the Menendez brothers tackles? It's in a, their videos? <laughs> yeah. No, this is uh, irrelevant. It's a, oh, okay. it's a separate question. We, it's a we ask case every guest. Yes, right. Brothers kill their parents, and they're incredibly wealthy. And then they spent all the money. And then investigators were like, "That's crazy." And then like they got charged with a crime. But then there's a huge peop- a group of people on TikTok who are like, "They're hot. They killed them because they were abused." <laughs> and they actually deserve to kill him because they're super abused and they just were trying to get out of the situation. And they're hot. And they're hot. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be kind of cool. You're in jail and you have to see TikToks of people defending you. That must be like real. <laughs> you have your burner phone that you fucking paid $6,000 for in prison money. Right. <laughs> we, we look at like Matt Reif's like family history. And it's like his dad was actually George Carlin. <laughs> That's crazy. He died around That's the time strange. that he started to get a little popular. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about the the meta because just asking Dia questions like apparently Matt Rife is the handsome Squidward comic and everyone hates yeah, him. Yeah, he's just a, a, a dude I see on like my Instagram and I'm like, this guy's too pretty to be a comedian, I think, which is probably a toxic mentality. But he's like, oh, he's the guy who's like who gets like letters from moms and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, he's, yeah. he's never seen that one. No, mm-hmm. it'll be it'll be like it'll be like a mom be like, I made you this shirt and the shirt's like I. I slept with moms. <laughs> They'll be like, "This is crazy. You're <laughs> so sweet. Be crazy. You had wore this for me or something." It it's is funny, like who your audience ends up being, because everyone who the people who I feel like who love my comedy the most are people who look exactly like me. <laughs> <laughs> like, the only one who ever approach him to show is someone who has like same height Indian dude. And he's like, "I get it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to me." How do you break? How do you break through to the to the the, the Ludwigs of the world and the moms and Just, the moms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get, sorry, that's probably more important. The right? moms. How do you get into milf comedy? Basically. Yeah, you gotta get ripped, I'm telling you. Dr. F- Mike, moms love him. I feel like mm. you've you've started a judgmental angle here. Every suggestion for Dia has just been put on some muscle. <laughs> don't worry. Not, not and I don't you know why. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a pull-up bar downstairs and we could get started too. He would also do more pull-ups I think, than probably all of us. He could. definitely could yeah. do way more pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one That's movement the I think that he's got on us. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> It's like Half Thor when you fucking gapped him. Yeah, that was fun. We the, stay on top at Mogul Moves. The only Half way Thor, to beat him. bitch. Well, <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> Aggressive. No, say it like again, like yeah. into the camera. My, I said my name it. is Anthony. I, I said it. Uh, I said I what live I said. In Los Angeles. <laughs> Come find me anytime. He's so humble too. Um. So you ha- do you do have two very diverging paths, like Aiden said. Neurodivergent. Are you, are, if you will. Oh. That means something yeah. different, right? No, that's, neuroscience. That's, that's, what, what we, that's when you're between <laughs> yeah, brain and comedy. You can't just say people who are doing neuroscience are neurodivergent. They are. I are you... Are they- Dia, are you neurodivergent? No, I don't. I don't think so. But, I, but, but you were, when you came up with two words that kind of fit generally, let's <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. 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 said neurodivergent. If you inputted what he said into there, so <laughs> as smart as a computer, <laughs> right away. Uh, oh man, I have are you gonna keep doing comedy? Like, do you have a game plan? Are you just rocking it, seeing what happens? Yeah, I mean, I just like. Uh, I feel like. To do stand up and make a living off of it, it, t- it does take a long time, and uh, I've never really I, I like enjoying what I do, so I've always wanted to have like a day job I really enjoyed. So right now I'm kind of doing two things I really like, and uh, I really I, it's hard for me to imagine not doing one of them. So I I think ideally I kind of keep up with both. It, you in were some saying way. it's like the trajectory is is interesting because not a lot of like when you start to do stand up. You go from like going to open mics and being shit to getting slightly better over years and years and years. And then like maybe you like make it somehow. Right. But you happen to be friends with some guys that 
wanted to spend money and be producers and see what that was like, essentially. <laughs> right, right, right. So it's like there's this cheat code, I guess. Yeah, I guess all these things is like in, when you start doing something, there's like so there's like 100 percent of it is fun and it's related to the thing. And I think that as you start like trying to make a living off of it. Um, that ratio of the new things, it's like 50% fun, but then 50% logistics. You have to do a lot more things just to build your career. Mm -hmm. And same in academia, too. If you want to become a faculty, you have to think about, you have to think about papers and ways to get there. And right now, I can kind of just do the fun parts of both things without having to uh. think too hard about, like, really what pushes me to the next step. I don't, I don't, I don't have to do, like, TikTok crowd work videos. Mm. I also don't <laughs> have to, like, in research, I feel like... If I you're to, about to go, if, like, if you have, like, a scalpel in hand... And you're like, you ready? I'm like, you know, whatever. You're, if you're like, I don't really think too hard about yeah, this yeah, side yeah. of my life. I'm actually a comedian. And right. Like, All right, here we go. I'd yeah, this so is just to facilitate. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the gas would put me under and it just dreams now forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, my daughter is so chill. He has such a relaxed balance in his life. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think I'm a dog now. <laughs> he, he fucked something up. I just really like bones. <laughs> I went to a stand-up show for the first time in like seven years, a couple weeks ago. It was horrible. No. <laughs> was so bad. Was it an open mic? It was not. It was, uh, we went because one of Cutie's friends was supposed to be on the show. But when we got there, we found out that he just kind of set up the show. And he was like the, uh, the MC host. Yeah. Not even the host, the person who sourced all the crowd. What? Mm. Uh, I forget. Oh, the, so the, like basically the term is. It's called a brain drift. <laughs> usually, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like uh, you can do my show if you bring ten friends. You can do five minutes. Yeah. Oh. My first show was a brain drift. I had no idea. They're like, dude, you're so funny, dude. Come do my show. Bring as many friends as you can. And you, to, you need five minutes of time to perform. But I brought like seventeen people. And I was so stoked. And then you do like five minutes. And yeah. then the, the crowd is all your friends. Yeah, they yeah, have a relationship a where they he one uh, one month he brings and then one month he performs. Was it at Flappers guy. by any chance? It was at the yard. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I've yeah, heard of this theater. venue. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I've always thought like we should just do a show there, right? Just yeah, for the, the, uh, the yeah. It's a very small venue. It's like a hundred total people yeah. in this concrete alleyway looking building, and we go in and uh, and, and instantly I realize that he's not going to perform because the host gets up and he's like, "Everyone performing tonight's in the Writers Guild strike." And I'm like. <laughs> That fucker is not in the writer's skills. He was a League of Legends trainer. <laughs> he's not working right now, but yeah. I don't think he's striking. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, and everyone actually did mostly fine. I'm being a little harsh. But the last comic uh, just did a 10 minute long rape joke uh, and, and, and said it more times than I've ever heard in my life. Wow. And it's, this, it's this woman. And, and it, the crowd was. Y'all ever dead. at the rape convention <laughs> buying rape t shirts? <laughs> <laughs> she no, but it was like it was actually like that. And she was like, she was like, I, I think everyone should have a pass on three rapists. And she's like, mine's R. Kelly. Like I'm gonna listen to him. And then my friend Bob, he's kind of chill. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 all right. I mean, hey, look, I laughed at that. It was kind. That was the kind of funny part. But then but the crowd, she could sense it was kind of uh, like uneasy. And you know, I thought she'd bounce back, do some crowd work. She's like, fuck you guys. I'm doing five more minutes of this. And then she did five oh, more minutes of it. Wow. Which, to an extent, I can respect, but it, the crowd did not change. Well, it's hard when you don't have any other material and you kind of went all in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is funny when the setup to a joke is defending R. Kelly. That's like just <laughs> the yeah. funny part. Yeah. That's the best <laughs> setup to the. Like, that's supposed to be funny. The, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, to that, fuck. You got just, you just my mind jogging with. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> with what? With what? Oh, what do we jog your mind with? <laughs> What's your mind jogging about there, buddy? Put you in the uh, neuroscience I forgot. Lab. It was so funny, bro. We should never podcast in the morning ever again. I'm doing great. We'll end up looking like Catch Nick. Up. Catch up, sweaty. Huh? <sighs> anyway, uh, uh, I, I realized that I, um, pff, I would struggle to go back and do stand-up again. Because I did it a good chunk in college, um, but none of my old material would work. And I'd, I'd have to come up with new material, and that's hard. Well, yeah, no, I mean, everyone that abortion thing was it. pretty fire. Yeah, the abortion thing kind of flops because the Roe v. Wade got yeah. overturned. And then mm -hmm. all my other jokes were being a struggling college student, which at this point would just be weird LARPing. <laughs> you know how like like 90 percent of men have that fantasy of like how they would how they would do in like a bar fight and yeah. that they would just like destroy the other guy and walk out with like bruises, but win. I feel like if you're under like 120 pounds, the other thing is guys who think they would kill stand up. Like, I would go on stage and I would just have the dopest set because all my friends think I'm funny. I think most people, the most people who get into stand up see someone doing it poorly. Yeah. And they're like, wait a minute. Hold I think, on. I think I if could. Mm. Yeah. I will have at least this guy's notoriety. 
Yeah. Within the first year of doing they this. See, they see, they're like, that's the bar, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I've 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 listened to people that's their exact impetus. Wow, that's actually interesting because the 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 reason I started uh wanting the reason I wanted to work in esports being a video editor at first was I saw something I hated. There you go. And I was like, I want to do this because I think this I think this is bad. I want to do this is than bad. Me. Or I've done things that are better than this or something. I think it's what? a good reason to get into. Why did you get yeah. into it? What made what? Who are you? I mm. I got into in high school. I really liked to write. I was like writing a lot of like lawn form stuff and then uh it just like i never really liked how it's just hard to show like hard to get feedback you gotta put out this whole thing you gotta write this whole thing and anyone who'd read it like you're related to and then uh <laughs> or like and then they would be nice it's hard to get genuine feedback and then i saw a bo burnham show actually like summer after i graduated and i was kind of into it it had brendan wardell hosted mm. i remember what, what year was this 2015 it was it was wow. probably, probably his make happy i think i went tour. to this tour yeah wow. i'm in san diego um I remember Brandon Wardell. I remember seeing him being like, ah, I could, I could write some. I could write some. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Wardell was your guy? I think he was my guy, yeah. You, you know, know what, what's funny is uh, I actually, like, for a long time, uh, I promise this will come somewhere at the end, I, I did not find him funny at all. And it was, like, mainly because all I'd really seen was, like, some stuff on Twitter, and then I watched his stand-up. Um, but then uh, we saw him. Yeah. And he did really, really good. The Stavro yeah. show. Uh, at Stavro, at Stavro, at Stavro show. Stavro. And he was like probably one of the funniest acts there besides Stop. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Some to have yeah. good fucking days. This good from, days and bad days. To be clear, this is from somebody who's just not a comedian. I don't mean to come off like <laughs> yeah, I, we, I would kill this shit or anything. We are fucking baby mode because we turn mm-hmm. on the microphone and if, if Ludwig says... They, they've thought the Breslin thing was funny for like a year. It's <laughs> it's not funny really anymore. <laughs> uh, if I could go on stage and say the same joke for a year straight and kill it, I think that'd be pretty tight. You can't. That's what tours are. How often do you make new material or write new material? I try because I mostly in Chicago. I try to like after I film the special, I try to do mostly new material. But uh, if like the show's important, I kind of have to dip back into the what I when I did the last summer. And trues. Y- you know, but, how, like I, I think a, a really big fear that I can't speak for him, but like for I I had before we had done the special was like fuck. What if it's just not funny? Like what if it's not funny and we have to like tell our friend we don't want to post it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, had that, I had that fear. And I had that deep looming fear. Because we I, never saw Diaz. I only ever saw Diaz stand up clips, which are good. But I was like, I've never been to a show. Yeah, my yeah, and my fears just came basically from nowhere. It was just like the fear for the sake of being scared. And uh, I think there's been a, you know when we finished it, I was like, I was very confident, like this is funny, it's gonna be good. But I think one thing that kind of solidified it for me was I found myself over the past because we sh- we shot it like how long ago was it now? A year ago, close to a year. Yeah, it was like last a year July. Ago. Yeah. Um, and I found myself over the course of the year, I've had to fight accidentally referencing material. Hmm. Like while I'm joking on this show, that's cool. Dude, yeah. I stole one of your jokes. What was it? Uh, fuck, you'll never know. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. you'll never know what he stole. You did this recently. That did I? You did it in the. You did this in the Patreon episode recently, but it was like detached enough where I was like, it'll be a reference. I said raccoon tambourine. I think. I think you said something like. Or oh something wait, no, 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 no. You said something like that. No, so you special. said that uh, something had a Confederate flag on it. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. It was, and it was like a company. No, I've done this before. I, I took something so verbatim from you. Just like as a as a as a, a phrase Jeez. on the podcast. I, I remember the last right. premium you said that some company was so old it, their their thing had the Confederate flag on it, and I instantly was like, "That's from Dia's thing." And I saw that from Matt Rife actually. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. so okay. dude, going up on stage and like ha- and like stealing his jawline, like getting plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm trying out a new thing without working out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. twice. That'd be sick if you opened for him and did that or something. And then dude, he, he should got plastic surgery. No, no, but like a fake like uh, like sure, clay. Sure. Dude, he know. should walk out with one of the jaw exercisers, like the rubber things you chew on, and like pull it out before. That'd be that'd be a great <laughs> that'd be funny. show intro. You keep bringing this up. You've brought this up before. Yeah. Are you into that? Matt Matt Rife? Rife? When I just think of people with that jawline. I think of the. Have you seen people chew on them? Yeah. No. It's fucked up looking. I have this. seen it, but it's. I think that's just usually like, the, like a, the blood that fills. Like I don't know how much. I th- I think I, I don't think crazier. they actually really work. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's mostly genetics. I, I think it's funny. Yeah. It's Way funny crazier he, than his jawline. Is his fu- is his fucking lips? His he's lips just are, got. He's just got huge luscious we, lips. I mean, Do, who? Okay. Hands up if you think you'd want to fuck Matt Rife. <laughs> I don't want to be left out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, if it's going to be don't a six be weird. <laughs> oh, I wanna, Zipper, I want to see the jaw exercisers. No, not Matt Rife. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's I guess, so, so good looking. Those are to work out this muscle. Yeah, 
Dad, can you imagine just being sitting in the mirror and being insecure about this muscle? That's brutal. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, like, it's tough. Isn't it like the masculine identity is tied to like, look at my no, fucking uh, jaw. Pull up a video. Pull up a video. Well, yeah, I mean, it God literally. damn it. Giga Chad. <laughs> Whoa. Damn it. He's mad at Whoa. Zipper. It, well, Giga Chad, that's the whole thing, right? Yeah, it's, it's just like an ultra. Huge jaw. Ultra when jaw. When I found out he was a real human, that fucked me up. That did fuck me up too. Because I thought for sure this is like some edited fake human. Wait, no, it's a cartoon. It's Oh, you're saying it's based on a real... <laughs> no, no, it's just a picture of a guy. It's a real guy who is like that, and they took a bunch of black and white photos of a guy that looks like that. So that's a silhouette? Like, his actual, if he stands at a certain profile? The Giga Chad guy is... Well, actually, maybe he is AI. No, he's real. You Have you met him? I, have you met him? Is that really your basis? <laughs> <laughs> You've met enough... Oh my god, this looks like a sex toy. This what? is the jaw exerciser. <laughs> Why is he giving the eyes? Like imagine, Dude, this is crazy. Like imagine you like walk, you just walk around with one I of I mean, these. the jaw does look big. Is this like buckle fat? <laughs> this is like doing Kegel exercises for your mouth. Aiden would have one of these and just be like, yeah, I saw it on Etsy. It'd be funny if you were walking around like, man, I really want to become a better climber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured I could get my mouth involved. Yeah. There's some holds that... I was going to ask you, do you ever get like pissed at video games? Because I wanted... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in general, yeah. In general, because Aiden, oh wow, this is before and after of his. He looks the same. He actually crazy? does look identical. His lips look maybe bigger, but I think it's just the way they're sitting. But he has more self confidence now. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, I see wonders his self esteem. I see you as someone who is like you just don't get mad and like you just because part of being really good at improving at stuff is not spending time getting angry. Mm. And I say this directly thinking about Aiden last night, who had a bad game of Valorant. And just snapped. So you find Dia to be stolid and aid in a fickle bitch. Yeah, and I'm asking you if that evaluation is right for one. No, I mean, uh, I think I think I'm really calm in most things, but I think playing online games kind of brings up a whole thing out of my spirit that gets mad. Like really? I will play like net play and play like a puff and then get like furious. Really? And, like, probably more mad than I've ever been in my life <laughs> playing by myself. What does furious playing. look like for you? You slam desk? I, I don't really slam desk. It's kind of an, I I always think. Not really, but I just get mad. I'm like, I'll stomp. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're like, darn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Shucks. Dude. Shucks. Aided, aided, dude, oh my god. One Aid. time I told my KO who was running it down that I hoped his mother died in a car accident. So <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah, he said the N word too, but that's that, that was after, after, after. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Did you say, say that to someone and finding out they're a racist and being like, yes. Yeah. Saved, saved. Oh, we're both <laughs> fucked. Yeah. Oh, well, man. dude, last night Aiden, they're, Nick Yingling and Aiden are playing uh, Valorant and Aiden plays at the office and he's here to like 2 a.m. Yingling also plays at the office now. I don't no, know they, if you knew they that. They both do, yeah. yeah. And, and Aiden, like, they lose their game. And then Aiden asked me about scheduling, and I and I get mouthy at it. I I, I basically made fun of him for not reading the group you chat. You jeer him. I jeered him, and he gets and he's like, ah, I'm not gonna argue with you about this. And then he exits the call and just leaves. And then after he leaves, <laughs> Nick Yingling's like, he just can't play video games when he's mad. <laughs> like he's just I don't want to tell him this, but he's just gotta stop. When he's mad, like I'm sitting across from this guy and he's fucking slamming the desk. And he sounded he sounded like it was an intervention that you weren't at. You can work on some e exercises. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> like jumping jacks. Shut up. Help. Da -da -da. I have an unhealthy habit. I I I like looking people up after we lose. Seeing their records? No, seeing their life. Finding the yeah, finding their Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I also do this. I played what? I played a game, a solo queue yeah. game. I I get to play one game a night usually. That's uh -huh. it. That's all I have time for is maybe one game. Some sometimes nights most most nights I don't play. Unless you're with your, your bear. Uh unless I'm with you. you in play which a lot case with we get we, we slop up. <laughs> and so I played one game, one game the other night, and, and and like we're doing okay. And I'm I'm top fragging and I'm calm and, and it's a silent lobby. Occasionally someone chirps up. And at the very end, we lose like six rounds straight. And it's just <laughs> like it's, it's last round. It's a quarter of the like game. Like it was seven to seven. And we're like, we're losing six straight. Yeah. And uh and so I just hop on, I'm like, hey, maybe we all call it after this one. Like, you know, like <laughs> okay, like we all should go to bed. Little joke. And uh and then bot frag on the team types. It just goes, you're not that good. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, say it to me. Like, don't type it to me, say it to me. And then like she's she pauses for a while, like her character doesn't move. And then like the round goes on, and then like as we're about to lose, she drops a motherfucker. 
<laughs> and, then, and then without skipping a beat, I go, eat shit and die. <laughs> Gay oh, men, wow. they have a very distinct profile name. Okay. I get to Twitter right away. Yep. No way. Look up the profile. Maybe add in Valorant. Because then it pulls up some key searches. Dude, you did work? Ah, mm -hmm. Find them. <sighs> yep. Find them. Maybe on like the second search. Very quick. Find them. I'm like, okay. Like bio. It's like, uh, she, they, queer, disabled artist. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, all right. You're a fucker. You're a piece of shit, but, you know, whatever. So that I just, I let it, I let it, I let it go by, but I'm like, I, I you know, I was seething. I was seething over that profile. Like she, she had, like, like four Halo overshields. It's like, you just wait, you gotta wait, you can't take that fight. Yeah, just like <laughs> it would be a funny prank to just be so touched in a video game, but just make your display name, like, somebody on Twitter. Who's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then <be> like <laughs> uh, you know what you do in that situation, Ludwig, is you search their account for for slurs. Retweet one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's actually toxic. Yeah. Well, it's always looking them up. I only do that when people make fun of my dead dad. I'll I'll find out whatever I can. I, I usually don't. I don't do it on Valorant. I don't. I've never reached out. I've never like. I, I'm always tempted to like see their profile and reach out. Dude. But I always just look and I just and I just stare at them. I love how you're human. I I had a a guy in our game who like he he refused to let me play raise. He like I was like let me play. He's like no 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 let me let me play let me play let me play it. I'm like uh, I mean I, I like this phrase in this map and he's like no 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 let me play it. But he locks it without like letting like, letting us talk about it. I'm like okay. So I switch and then he gets five kills the whole game we lose. And it's, I'm playing with Dawson and I look this guy. I was the same thing. Love I look this guy up. He didn't even say anything. I'm just mad <laughs> that he locked my character and then sucked at the game. And uh, I find his Instagram. He has <laughs> he builds supercars, and his bio says Radiant Valorant player. And I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Radiant. You're not in my lobby. Like, you're, not, I'm, you're not Radiant player. So I go to his tracker and I look at his history, and I'm like, were you ever Radiant? And so I go, and it's like six seasons back. He hit Radiant once and was Radiant for two games, and then lost it, and, wow. and, and is now Ascendant one, and is hard stuck Ascendant <sighs> one. So he has not been raiding for a long time. But he, but he, he got his badge. But he got his badge and he put it in the bio immediately. And yeah. I was so mad at this guy. I'm like, I want to DM you and be like, oh, you're not fucking, use your tracker. I fucking yeah. looked at I, I, I lose the second I do that. No, you don't lose. I lose. That's, I lose. A, that's the mm -hmm. lie that we feed ourselves. You should ruin his reputation with the supercar community. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Find out the other supercar builders and start saying Just shit. Spread it around. Dude, the opposite of this. I was also in a game with this, me and Dawson were playing with this kid. He, he's got to be like 17 or something. Just one of the funniest people we've ever met. He's he's lighting the lobby up. Everything he says is electric. We're just like, dude, I love this guy. At the end of the game, he you know how usually someone will like yell an obscenity at you in the mic. He goes, This is my name. Look me up on LinkedIn. I'm looking for work. I'm a coder. <laughs> and, then, and then the game ends. And I go, I look him up on LinkedIn, I find him. And it's like, yeah, he he does code. He's about to graduate uh, college. <laughs> I go to his Twitter, I confirm it to him, he posts all his Valorant and shit. And I was just like, this, this yeah, it was just really funny. That's the other side of it. Because he just doxed himself. Doing this with Valorant, but looking for comedy club openings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do Guys, five anywhere, I'll do five minutes anywhere. Doing, 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 practicing your 30 in like a, long, in like a sweaty <laughs> game. <laughs> there used to be a game called like Comedy Night. Have you guys ever yeah. heard of this? Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what this is, is it? very popular, or used to be very popular on streams. I've yeah, heard of this. just like during the pandemic, it's some like a uh, game where you can just talk do open my comedy online to avatars opened up and then a bunch of comedians were like this is the future <laughs> this is how you practice you can do 20 mics Jesus a night Christ. Dude, this looks so bad doing stand up to like, <laughs> this looks like celebrity death match oh my god it, 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 it can be really funny especially like if you're in a discord call with a lot of people uh and so that's like the most popular videos i've seen of it and i think there's also like a function yeah to like emote <laughs> So like the oh, jeering, there's a meta. The jeering is incredible, dude. You can boo. Yeah, you can boo as an avatar. Have you have you dabbled? No, I, I mean I tried it, and it's instantly the most soul su soul sucking place to be. Yeah, I mean, it's is there like so? Imagine your micro's bad, and you like you tell a joke, but you your guy needs to point upwards as you do it, but you fuck <laughs> up the timing. So it look because like if you're not you're a micro, micro. <laughs> bring. 
bring in execution to <laughs> yeah execution to like right. micro execution to comedy like you miss your L cancel and your guy says the N word right <laughs> but, yeah mouse slipping a Nazi joke <laughs> yes. sorry sorry that was it's part what? of my I'm an odd uncle punch for a bit the uncle punch <laughs> comedy <laughs> trainer you got eight frames to point out my desk that would suck yeah I remember uh, in the pandemic it was like some people some like co- like comedians were like oh we'll do like a zoom like comedy show and it's like we don't need to do that they were so bad i've done like a handful of them over the pandemic just a- and they're just it just kills why you like comedy <laughs> do, do it at like your shit. desk yeah you're with, sitting you're sitting down yeah that's crazy with just your normal lighting too and just <laughs> posters oh. behind you and, and the lotion and do all that clean, you like clean up beforehand a little bit See you later, slob. <laughs> I, 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 I need a shower. I'll, uh, I'll clock in. Yeah, I, I think there were some things with the pandemic. It's like, let's just not do this until everything's back to normal. We can just not. Yeah. And I think stand, stand-up comedy was one of those things. I feel like two things that I think, you know, benefit in a couple ways, but also suffered after COVID was like TV, like TV and comedy where like every joke was about wearing a mask. Yeah, or completely. Which I get it. You got to say something. No, I think but I think were, the first episode of Always Sunny I, I ever didn't like was the one they made uh, during the pandemic, where they're like, "It's COVID." And I was like, "This is like the first episode I've seen I just didn't like." He didn't like the fact that there was a liberal hoax in his. Show. I don't get why you would put something uh-huh. that's a scam. You just wouldn't need the mask. Yeah. <laughs> why would you? Don't put it on. You didn't, you didn't make a flu episode. <laughs> <laughs> Luke killed man right. just many people yeah instead of writing jokes you, you could be doing the mouth exercises and working out and yeah. you have a career instantly once, uh, <laughs> once, it, once, once the pandemic's over right. they come back to Oh Sunny they're all of amazing jaws <laughs> like fucked up that's kind of <laughs> they kind of did do that's that that's kind of what Mac did or yeah that's kind of well, what, what Mac all, did they, they, a couple of them got plastic surgery I feel like it kind of seems they like they ripped yeah. Uh, yeah in one way or another Mac is definitely right Rob got ripped yeah Mac is um, Rob Rob McIntyre because he owns, he owns the team. Wrexham, that's that McIntyre? guy. Isn't uh, McIntyre? Isn't it McIntosh? Uh, McElhenney? McElhenney. Yeah. Uh, he just got his name wrong. I don't yeah. fucking care. <laughs> yeah, he's very... He's a, he also has to be a Chad, I think, for uh, Mythic Quest, which he's also on. I don't oh, know what that is. Oh, yeah. The, his show. No, I'm not going to explain this to you. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. You're not listening. It's okay. I don't need to do this. Um, <laughs> what? 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 You know when I made you guys food in Italy and you loved it? You yeah. chef that hoe. I... I've gotten way better at chef in that hoe. I don't think you have. I've leveled up, and if I cooked for you now, you'd be enthralled. I doubt it. But you don't you don't cook. Why would you level up? Fellas, it's called HelloFresh. Sponsor of today's um, the podcast. Uh, it's called a podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's called a it's podcast. It's like a friendship simulation. I actually use HelloFresh. It's one of the few sponsors that I use and that I don't shill out with zero regards you to You actually do. When the when the food comes in the box, I get and, excited. You, and you rustle through all the different stuff in there, there's usually like a hand. Yeah. And like you set aside, you gotta pull out the touch. Husks in there, <laughs> set them aside. We're not like, cooking sorry. elephant fellas. No, no, HelloFresh does not condone the use of tusks. They confirmed HelloFresh <laughs> told me that they have mostly <laughs> meat. No, no, <laughs> no, no. They no. confirmed he, it. He I called. talked to the guy. No, I talked to the CEO. I talked to the CEO. I called him. CEO. They, they don't, so I don't know what you want to tell me. The CEO of HelloFresh is they, lying. They do have a lot. Of, they have forty weekly recipes. You can choose from over a hundred items. None of them have tusks. None from fit and wholesome to pescatarian and veggie. Also. And meat no, only. No, <laughs> no, no, and as someone who also has used HelloFresh, I like that it's all portioned and you just put the all of everything in. And it's nice because you don't got to think about numbers. And which it's are easy hard. to track macros, mm. which is really hard when you make a meal without mm. uh, yeah. HelloFresh. And that's why you're so swole. And none, none of you out there Lots working out, but if you elephant. decide to one day, that'll be helpful. If you want to be an Adonis like Ludwig, just truly chiseled. The I only don't... time slime is positive to me is about the status of my body, and it's because of HelloFresh. That I look this way. You're and because welcome, I go to the gym too. I but. guess. Body built by HelloFresh. Anyway, uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash the yard 16. Use code the yard 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Also, if that's HelloFresh, if you go, that's HelloFresh.com slash the yard 16 and use code the yard 16, you will receive in the in the mail a baby. Bleep 16 out. free meals it's a lot. plus it's a baby. Lot. And you can do with it what you want. You can cook you it. Have you have to keep this. it as a pet, like you a have bear. To go, Archie, you Archie. have to go to the port of Long Beach to pick it up, <laughs> but they send it to you. They pay for the customs fees. Archie, that's right. Archie, Archie can you just says elephant? You have to bleep. And that's the problem. Archie, can you just put a big asterisk over Slime's head anytime he's lying for this whole read? America's number one meal kit. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> and, and also exotic pet suppliers <laughs> so all let's get back the to, United States. Let's get back to America's number one podcast. Whoa. <laughs> seeing like a, you a, be a good. Yeah. <laughs> seeing show. you be good at all these different things now. I was wondering when you get, like when you started at comedy, I assume you were worse at it. I, I was I, terrible. I feel like that has to be the most like, like losing at a video game to me is like you lose and then it's over in this small space of time and then you just instantly boot it up again for redemption. And that's kind of how other <clears throat> things work is you often have like the privacy of maybe your home to yeah. like practice and get good <laughs> at it. But stand up is be kind of like being publicly shamed booting up fail. another type five go next go next I'm just like five. you know guys I'm, I'm doing five more yeah. <laughs> dude my first ever open mic first time I ever did comedy I brought and this is like a bit no 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 I know now I brought like ten friends and then I, I did my set and it was so bad that I left without telling them. I mean, I got off stage and just left, and oh. I just had 10 friends at the mic watching. Holy I was just, shit. I remember I just walked around campus, um, just like, no, I, I, it, it is terrible fun, but I think when you start, you have, you have to have some sort of delusion that you didn't do that bad. Like, you know you bombed, mm -hmm. but you were thinking, ah, it was a hard crowd, I didn't quite get them. So I think if you knew how bad you are when you started, you would quit instantly. Because <laughs> like, every year you're like, oh, that's a good set, then a year later you look back, and you're like, oh, that's, terrible unwatchable <laughs> and i think you kind of have to keep up that delusion until you get to a point and you don't never know when Fakes the delusion goes goes away yeah. but i think without that then it's too devastating to your soul to be that unfunny in public like the worst you ever bombed like it, it was that the worst you've ever bombed or at least like the no. worst you've ever felt no i've had terrible i mean i have terrible bombs every every year like uh, i mean my, my most recent really bad one was like uh, about two years ago i was in appleton wisconsin um mm. And, uh, I mean, just the stuff you, you made, you I You made do. it up right now. <laughs> yeah, I just made up a city. I'm not panicking. I mean, uh, <laughs> Apple, John. <laughs> Seeing Apple. Apple. Yeah. Right. And, like, uh, they just didn't know what I was talking about. Just, like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, capitalism. I'm like, I'm just, I was using the word nepotism, and they had no idea what that meant. So I'm just saying words. I remember saying Pan's Labyrinth, and I had a moment on stage where I was like, oh, nobody here. <laughs> Seen... knows what the word pan Aaron like. Rodgers? <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all about the team over there. Jeez. <laughs> and yeah, just would eat it for like and once you had a bit better, you start doing longer sets. So you're eating it for even longer. Oh and God. like and I'm hosting so I imagine I, I have a I have like a recurring uh nightmare during the day where I think about like what it would feel like to be one minute into your set and realize they're not going to understand the next 29 minutes. Yeah. And how that would feel, that moment. Yeah, and there, there's like little tricks you can do to get out of a bomb, and when those stop working, like usually there's like a trick, like if a joke doesn't work, you go, you just say something like, Okay, or all right, and then usually gets a laugh, almost out of relief by the crowd. That was the main joke that I hit at the last stand-up I went to. Was everyone like they would bomb a joke and be like, "Fuck you guys, that was funny." Yeah, or like, or like it's gonna be a long one, right? Because it just alleviates the tension. And for then the people crowd. laugh at that, but when you start bombing long enough where those stop working, then you're like your face gets hot, and yeah, and then time slows down oh too. Oh my god! You start checking your phone. It's <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Some, and it's like the worst thing which happens right is getting lit early so in comedy oh. they give you a one minute light but if you get on like a paid gig it is like you're doing bad bad and uh like and, they, like and they don't even want their money's worth right. anymore and it's so terrible that you're relieved to see it I've had I definitely had bombs like <laughs> rarely now but they still happen especially in like when I'm leaving Chicago and like going to other these midwest cities I like the idea you know those like Taylor's version of the songs it's like you have a a, a, a a version of your of your set where all the words are more simplified, yeah. and it's like Cletus's version. No, I do I do have like sets or versions of sets I do when based on like a role crowds. So, yeah, <laughs> so, so bombing, funny. Yeah. bombing at, at this stage for you is it's not so much about like your ability to deliver or like do this joke that you've already done and succeeded a bunch of times. It's about like regional differences and audience understanding. I've like never thought about that. I mean, I think that's a bit part, but I also think like I try to do a lot of new material a lot. So even in Chicago, I, I like have jokes not hit a lot, especially if they're new. So yeah. that's also, so a lot of times you say stuff that's not funny, but yeah, the, but the real soul crushing bombs are just like a lot of people just totally not understanding the thing you're saying. Just like, they don't get it. They're not even heckling. They're just confused. That's yeah. like the worst. <laughs> At least a heckling kind of have a back and forth. I think there is a sweet spot you get to though as a comedian where like you you get so popular online that like you like you kind of take all the power in the sense that when you make yeah. when you tell a joke that they don't understand, 
they almost laugh harder. Yeah. Because they yeah. want to be in the crowd that gets it. No, I think when people are there to see you, you can get away with murder. With what you, say up there. you can say whatever you want, and they're just so excited to see you that you do well. Will you do a live show, and it's we, we will never realize that we're not funny? Because everyone who goes to our live show... No, I've solved this. You, you, you just befriend comedians. And then they'll prove to you very quickly you're not funny. Right. <laughs> and you just go, oh, I, like okay. that. I know that now. <laughs> yes, sir. I know that I'm the least funny person. In a fu- it, dude, it's like Melee. It's actually the same. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because you think you're good because really. your friends are all bad at it. And then you go to your first tournament and you realize that you're the worst in the room at it. Yeah. This is like what Brendan Schwab did. I mean, Brendan Schwab is this comedian who used to, who used to I don't know, do UFC or something. Or, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he would get like pretty good comments when I knew would open. And they would just like chat and be like, yeah, he would just like... You, they would laugh for fi- first five minutes if they were there to see him. And then at some point, it's comedy. Like, if it's not funny, it's not funny. Then he would just say, bomb. And especially, he would have pretty good comedians open who were, like, working. So there would just be this gulf of difference between him doing, like, 40 at a theater. Is he the one who's been on Joe Rogan a bunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just- Dude, I remember watching, it was way back, it was an Eddie Griffith special. And it was a special. It was, like, filmed and produced and, like, put out. And I remember, I think I downloaded it. I was torrenting comedy specials and I watched it. I started watching it and uh, he tells the first joke, not a lot of people laugh. And then he tells the second joke and not a lot of people laugh and it wasn't funny. And I was like, oh no, like this is just bad, I bet. And I just didn't finish it. There's so Two many, jokes yeah. in and I click out like it was a YouTube video. But I had to sit there and wait for the fucking download. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You didn't give him a third? Huh? You didn't give him no. a third? Cause, cause I did the, the same thing to John Mulaney last night, actually. Really? I, I do not think it was that bad. It just wasn't, like, I didn't laugh in the first two, and I was like... He didn't say, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm... <laughs> today I'm burying myself alive. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, oh, And he boring. didn't, like, tell me what was gonna happen later in the video. <laughs> yeah. and, like, the thumbnail was weird. <laughs> <laughs> the thumbnail was weird. It was just, it was just him. Yeah, it was just like, a John. <laughs> Oh, uh, we, should, we should put. We should. I'm thinking about how we thumbnail Dia special. We should put Mr. Beast in it. <gasps> and it's like I. Terrible it's like idea. I gave a comedian <laughs> 30 minutes on a stage. Ludwig, <laughs> Ludwig, <laughs> <laughs> you can't joke about Mr. Beast. It's, it's like he, he's like, don't, sure. don't do that. As long as you don't say it three times in front of a mirror, <laughs> we're safe. Can you imagine getting a Mr. Beast video and he, he doesn't give you money? <laughs> I'd be so <laughs> mad. Like, yeah, that happened this week. He he did a video where it was like, do you, do you want a mystery gift or a dollar? And the mystery gift was a bunch of packages like you get on Christmas, like once every ten years that you keep opening into smaller and smaller packages. And the final package was a tiny box with one dollar in it. Did they pick the mystery gift? Yeah. You have to. That they was were also, they were also kids. It was both a dollar. It was either a dollar or a dollar. That's yeah, but, devastating. But you didn't know it was a dollar. Yeah, but the, it's just a longer way to get a dollar. But so, it's funny because Mr. Beast asks you that. It's a trick question. Because you know he's got more than that. You yeah. know he's got more than a dollar. I mean, so I'm saying you, you get a Mr. Beast mystery gift and then you and all you get for it is one dollar. You lost. <laughs> it's, well, I mean, he did give away. like When you've given away like that many millions of dollars for no reason, you kind of earn giving people you know, one dollar right. and making content for the meme i always think about it you want, you really get these one opportunities and can you imagine being on humans of new york and not asking for money for your gofundme i also like it's a huge <laughs> yeah. wasted off yeah. they know they want to slip that in they're like giving their life story there's like, always a cause <laughs> yeah there's always a cat that needs surgery right? yeah my dad worked long nights as a garbage man my entire life and this I vibrator just, will <laughs> make you <laughs> <laughs> Sunset lights. Oh, the, like the replies. And my cash app is. <laughs> what was uh? Fuck, I lost it. We can never podcast in the morning. Dude, this is all you can't you. podcast in the morning. You fell off. You're you fell sunsetting. Off. You? You're sunsetting. I mean, if this was Aiden, you would you'd be so mad at him. You'd be I'd like, make fun of you'd him. You'd be like, "This is a reflection of you." <laughs> that's what you'd say or think. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, oh, that was a good way to add on. Shit. That tell was him. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's good. He's doing it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the ball back. This is basically yeah. just like a micro, like heckling, dealing with hecklers. Like yeah, you I, I should do stand up. Yours relationship. That's what I should do. I, I think you don't deal with hecklers well. The problem, no, okay, I, there's two ways Aiden would deal with heckling if he did stand up. One, like, oh, you guys don't like my jokes. That's like fine. 
That's cool. But like, you know. then he would go out with the crowd after and like explain why the joke was funny. And be like, no, I wrote it like this because wait, I went to Europe and I met the people who yeah. did this thing. I met them. That'd and be and then they'd like it. And they'd be like, yeah, but I don't like that joke because of this. He's like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Do you like want to get a beer? <laughs> That'd be a great video, like to me and destroy his heckler, but it's just him flounder on stage and it followed the camera follows him off stage. <laughs> <laughs> developing a relationship yeah, with like, the person yeah. after yeah. And becoming friends. It's and like twenty five minutes. The yeah. other side of Aiden would be Valorant Aiden on the omen where he's he's talk he's up on stage and someone's like boo fucker you're not funny pussy and he's like and then he just flips out <laughs> and then he just like oh, like kills it's, him yeah and he kills him and Dane's in jail and yeah. he's passed around like a bag of Oreos yeah, but I want I want <laughs> no I respect it yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude Do, does have you ever seen anyone plant a heckler I mean so in Chicago I I, I definitely like hang out with like alternative comedians that's like a whole sort of Comedy outside the clubs. They, they, call them, they call them gay now. <laughs> yeah, what does alternative mean? It's, I think, pretty much just like a very big catch all for not doing club comedy, which is very standard punchline. It sounds like it's, it's similar to like the music scene where like you have like indie bands who yeah. are local to your city and they play at these small venues a lot and the locals know them, but no one else does. Yeah, but I think there's also like a split like at, in Chicago, there's like the club, like, there's like Laugh Factory and like a Zanies where like the more standard comedians go and there's all these other sort of venues that are, like, for comedy specifically, but they get, like, weirder comedy. Like, you know, like, Sarah Storm on SNL? Yeah, yeah, She was kind of, like, the head of the old comedy scene in Chicago. It's comics that use, like, way different time signatures and shit. Yeah. So a lot of of old comedians, they do, like, they're trying to make fun of the heckler videos, but they do these elaborate, like, planting audience members, and, Mm -hmm. like, someone someone did, like, um, sort of roast battles, like a popular show in Chicago, and they want, like, but an alt comedy person. And then uh, his whole thing was he kept pissing his pants before saying his joke. <laughs> and then he like planted a bunch of audience members to start like heckling him. And but that was just like this whole roast battle. There's something he like, start, he started stuttering for his joke, and then he'd have like water in his pants and he'd start <laughs> do <laughs> spurting out. Oh, that's such a good idea. Just like in any situation. Honestly, I think that's a that's a funny button for me. It's like get getting a job interview and just pissing myself for the right, bit right and just filming it like oh god i'm so sorry and it's like you're the best interviewee ever but there's just piss everywhere I've, I've had this dream for a super long time of uh making a video that's like hey like going to like r slash comedy and posting like hey guys can you guys rate my my 10 minutes like I, I worked on it really hard all year and i had a friend film it and then it's a camera in the crowd and the mic is from the camera, and the only thing you can kind of hear the comedian, but you can only really hear the couple next to the camera. That's fun. They're yeah. arguing for ten minutes, <laughs> and it's like a really elaborate argument where the guy is clearly like a dick. <laughs> and, so funny. And then posting it, like, but keeping it. You're really, like out of focus. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're, it's yeah. Not, you can really not even hear the material, but then doing it all like kind of for real, like going and filming that, and I've like had that idea for so long. That's and, a great idea. <laughs> and someone's like, yeah, and someone's earnestly like, I don't know if you know this or not, but we can't. It's hear like sorry or about. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there. I'm on the, the uh, history subreddit a lot, and someone asked a question. It was like, "How did the civilization in Egypt like blossom when it's just in a desert?" And there was a guy on there who was just so utterly confused, but you could also tell pissed off. He's like, "Is this like a joke? Like, if this is a joke, you can just tell me." <laughs> I think it's a joke. I'm just gonna answer anyway. The Nile River. That's why. And it, it, like a whole paragraph about how like water helps civilization grow. But you could tell he was just so like he didn't want to get trolled, but he also wanted to answer the question so badly. Yeah. And I'm like, that is that's who your bit. I is wanted going to blurt for. it out. I was I was sitting yeah, here yeah. like I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but the, I think it was an earnest question because like I think our depictions of Egypt are from Super Mario levels. Mm. That's mm. Not the sun true. Yeah. The sun comes that's, down. Right. Right, and and it gets you. you. You get a cave. You have to collect all the coins, and you get to go inside the pyramid. Yeah. It's, just like, it's just like that. I found wing, they had wing caps for real back then. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ra how they built the pyramids is with the wing cap. Ra had wing cap, and the pharaohs had wing cap, mm-hmm. and the slaves metal Mario. Also wing <laughs> <laughs> the yard, and then it's on the DVD box set. Slaves were metal Mario. <laughs> Can you imagine? There's like a half. A press, but it's just like pyramid with one slave. <laughs> <laughs> you might be thinking, how do you build a pyramid with half a slave? <laughs> <laughs> Consider this. It's like a talking head. It's like I thought the bottom would be the best, <laughs> but they really believed in the top. <laughs> I found the worst subreddit ever the other day. What uh, is it? But it, it's numbers. called True Rate Me. And it's rate. people, yeah, rate. Okay. <laughs> oh, <Proceed>. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 
<laughs> all good. Uh, and they would, be, it's like you post a picture of yourself and then people would rate you. So it's not roast me, it's it's be honest with me. Yes, but it's called true rate me because I think there's many rate me sites that have existed. Can but, you just say the T more like enunciated? Yeah. A I, little. You, you just say the word the rate too fat. Rate. I, I'm oh, afraid I'm settling in for another five minutes right now. <laughs> just say like rate me, fellas. I think we get to pick three. <laughs> uh, rate, rate, rate me. And so I think there's many rate me sites. <laughs> is there a different word? Hard to use words. Can we look up synonyms? Can we look up synonyms? <laughs> yeah, there's got to be a synonym, right? Yeah. No, no, no. This is for true rating. True <laughs> rating. Yeah. Wait, is there? Is there for a thesaurus for this. True grade me. Yeah. And so they're grading everyone. True score me. I like score. <laughs> uh, and and the, the, the what makes this one true is that they have a very thorough guideline of how you have to grade every single person, which is like four Google Doc pages. They got a rubric for people. They have a rubric and it's literally every single rating and then five examples of who would be in that rating. And it's like 10. No one. There is no such thing as a 10. It's I like believe that. 9.5. Mm -hmm. It's like Anna DeArmas and like a bunch of other like celebrities that they picked out. <laughs> I also and it's like that. nines. And they have literally five pictures for every single 0.5 rating. And then they have a different rating guide, which is like the symmetry of the face, all this. And so when you go to the actual pages where people are rating, yeah. Facial mid -face, harmony symmetry. Mid-face ratio? Yeah, I'm actually a uh, facial harmony main, but uh, <laughs> I can play symmetry yeah. if the group needs it. Yeah, I can feel yeah. mid-face if, if some people need it as well. I don't like skin. It's, it feels like... <laughs> skin is a bad There's bullet. like some good colors. It, means, and some bad colors. <laughs> it shouldn't just say... Well, it, it generally means like acne or whatever. There's definitely a lot of... I can, I can fill. There's, a, there's like a really weird amount of like blue eye blonde hair people with tens on the subreddit. I would like, love to see the breakdown. Like, Hold on. There is a lot of intrinsic racism just based in like the beauty of like noses, you know, and right, like yeah. what nose shapes are good. And it's like, well, that is very subjective. Some of us have Mediterranean noses. But but the whole purpose of like the mod who set it up is like, no, this is objective beauty. And what makes it cringe is that when you go to the rating pages, sometimes if people rate too high. It'll be like, oh, uh, you have gotten a warning. This rating has been removed because overinflation. Or oh, sometimes man. it'll be like underinflation. So it's like the mods <laughs> will specifically pick out comments that they think are overrating or underrating the person. And sometimes it's like, okay, they rated it like a 10. They're like, 10, you're gorgeous, honey. And it's like, th this is overrating. I'm like, okay, I can understand that. But other times it'll be like somebody and it'll be like 6.7. And it'll be like, this comment has been removed for overrating. I'm like, really? Dude, that's crazy. And then like 6.3 will slide. And it's like, this is no longer true rate me. This is like, get within the mods parameters. And so I did a little deep dive. And the worst one I found was 3.5 and a mod comment underneath. And it was like, this has been removed for overrating. And I was like, you're kidding. That's brutal. You're kidding. Yeah. Honestly, the Welsh uh, eyebrows on this face are just not enough. Those are real attempts at comments that. that oh my are god! So this is the rubric. <laughs> Ian Summerhalder. <laughs> It'd be so funny. There's a true rating, but it's clearly just this guy's fetish. If you like, <laughs> yeah, it's just all like the same looking guys. Like, so this is clearly a nine. Right. It's like kind of looks under eighteen. Dude, they, have a, <laughs> they have a one out of stat. Yeah, yeah, like how many people in a in a group of people would be a All seven? All of the guys on this page look exactly the same level of attractive. I know. Yeah, in my mind, you could put a 6.5 and an 8 spot and 9.5 spot. Wait, how is, how is that guy we're a down, 6? Dude, we're down to 5 and everybody's still pretty attractive. How is Steven Yuen a 5? I agree with that. That's crazy. That is crazy. He's higher than a 5.5. This 5. is so interesting. What, what a brain run. Lil Wayne's Lil a 4.5 4. 4. 5 in that picture? <laughs> Lil Wayne's overrated in that this, picture. I think this is the only chart that DJ Khaled and Ed Sheeran are in the same category. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they're next to Wanderly. Uh, the office Wanderly? I kind of want to I want to get to the bottom. Uh there's okay, a big jump has just taken yes, place, right? Yes. There is a huge wait, jump. Wait, wait, go up, go up. What if I'm just unknown? It's just a guy. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Next to William Hung is just unknown. And then they quickly, the bottom ratings, it's just, it's just only people with physical deformities. It's just like, that's it. That is so Wait. weird. Unknown. It's just unknown deformed people. 
or just like I guess just like old people. I think it's teeth. the person who made this document weird. looking I, up like ugly people. The yeah. people, yeah. Like, the, enter, the people enter. at the bottom are like AI generated. It's like sourced from Funny Junk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a picture you would randomly roll on Funny Junk. <laughs> that is so. How'd you stumble across that? It was under another subreddit. It was like cringe, uh, <laughs> and it was just a screenshot of like this girl posting a selfie. And it was like five people being like six, six point five, six point seven, and she's like, you know, like a fine looking girl, and and the mods are all like overrated, 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 oh, come wow. removed, come and removed, come and removed. Well, that that was a four chan meme forever, which was like dudes on four chan they like circle someone's like a, a woman's finger being like a little too long. And they say two out of ten wouldn't bang. Yeah, like, this is like a Megan Fox back in the day when she was like the hottest only woman in the world, and everyone was like, "But look at her toes. Her toes are weird. Her toes are thumbs. She has thumb toes." Yeah, thumb, th- thumb, thumb. Isn't it funny toes. how like the internet always circles back to like Zuckerberg's original Facebook creation? Yeah. It just everything that keeps going until one day someone invents hot or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the singularity. And then we're just here. We are. And Aiden's Aiden's on there. I'm on hot or not. You I'm, can sw- Which way would you swipe? Let, yeah. Amen, let me tell you the truth. Yeah. If Steven, you went to 5.5, I got fucking horrible news coming for you. I just saw that list and I'm like, I'm a, I'm a yeah. four. That's I'm a, what that I'm look, a, those that's what those kinds of lists do to your brain. Like the person who made that must have a fucked up life. That <laughs> list made Matt Rife, probably. He probably like started checking up the boxes <laughs> yeah. from yeah. there. They they, they got Matt Rife. <laughs> Even Matt. Matt's like sitting at a 6.5 on that list. You take that, you take that back about Matt. Lips are tight. <laughs> lips are a little bit too big. Chewed on the jaw dog muscle <laughs> the machine for too long. <laughs> well, that was Dane Cook, right? Like way back. He was the he was the first like Chad comedian, like mainstream. Was he? Ch- yeah. He was like he was like a handsome guy who he, was like he was a PC Chris of comedy kind of. He was a PC Chris of comedy. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He was what few other comedians at the time were. <laughs> handsome. He was cool. In George Carlin's day, you were an ugly sack of shit. <laughs> uh, I thought he was like. Maybe, maybe you're right. I guess I only listened to the audio. The and only the, comedian and then I saw him in who movies. had a fantasy football uh, roster also. Dan Cook. At the time. At the time. Now everything's getting homogenized. Everyone has a Nintendo Switch. Everyone <laughs> watches football. Everyone you don't watch is football. poor. Huh? What? What the? You don't watch football. <laughs> you also don't. What the? You're not poor. No, I just... You do have a Switch, though. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You were at Anthony's house yesterday, and he has a pair of underwear in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> They're I bad. toss underwear sometimes. <laughs> they no, no, in, the, in his bathroom garbage, like, you know, the small one that, like, Fills with like a couple uh, things. Mm-hmm. He just has underwear in there. It went bad. And he's like, and he's, and he's like, I know it sounds bad, <laughs> but my it. but my laundry machine puts crusty things <laughs> in my boxers, so I threw them away. This I'm like, is, right. this is true. You just cummed yourself. No, I didn't come myself. I'm like, okay. This happened with my Hello Kitty shirt. I believe there's video evidence of this. It's basically like the detergent or something in my washer. I try to not come myself. It is like it puts like this weird like detergent crust like yeah. spot onto my shirt or my other clothes. And this happened with my boxers, so it looks like there's just fucking Can cum rag boxers. <laughs> well, I to me I was like ew, and so but the Hello Kitty shirt I like. Jesus, so I just threw it away. <laughs> Look, I live good. I live good. Where are you yeah. trying to convince me? <laughs> <laughs> he does have a water cooler. I like that. I have a water cooler like it's an office. When when people come over, we can stand oh, like by. Like a bubbler? It. Yeah, it's got like the a jug. Bubbler? He gets the a jugs water delivered. Is it's a subscription like, a like a an office container. That it's like holds you know, water. It, no, a water You're cooler. You're an asshole right now. Are you serious? Are you a really? cooler is a, like a, the container you bring on a camping trip to put drinks in. So right. you know, do you know like, a, like, like in a like an office when they go, it's like we're at the water cooler. They don't call that. It's they, a bubbler. It is literally what You're, they call it. Water fountain. Water, water bubbler. He's not talking about that. No, isn't a no a bubbler is a water fountain. Yeah. I've heard that Like at that. school? They're talking about different things. This is the tank you on top what? with the red there's, and blue. There's different nomenclature for the East Coast to West Coast. He realized he was wrong. He realized he was wrong. I saw his eyeballs. No, no, no. Take the New York Times dialect <laughs> okay. test. That's the If you take the New York Times dialect test, which gets popular every Fuck year. Fuck the New York Times. Fuck you, man. No, on God, because we do the crossword and we have beef. We do it every night. We're fucking, we're over. NYT is over party. You know what it was? And BLM. You know what clue is over? Is over party. To be clear, we're talking about Brendan Lee Mulligan. Respond to our DMs. Wait, same for something else? Right. Okay, go ahead, Nick. So, uh, we'll get back to that. Um, I forgot. What were we talking about? <laughs> Crosswords. Crosswords. NYT crosswords. Oh, I think the clue that did us in, what, uh, it was like, uh, what was it? Interesting, 
something that has interesting points. There's some bullshit. It was like something with interesting points, and the, the answer was a cactus. It took us an hour. Mm. It took us an hour to do the crossword. Uh, there was like uh, it's seven a minds in the call of our generation. Uh, well, interesting means something else too. Uh, look what? up interesting. What are you talking about? I don't think you're telling. Look up interesting truth to me, man. Don't look up interesting, Zipper. Don't do it. Okay, then you won't learn. Okay, he did. Uh, this is arousing curiosity or interest. Nope. Holding or catching the attention. Catching the attention because when it pricks you. Oh my god. He flits more no, definition. Just all the pun desert. is points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also it means desert. Cactus. Did you ever do improv? No, not really. Like, can I ask you what you think about improv as a stand-up comedian? Because I've gained yeah. more respect for it. I've, I've definitely had the same. Before In San Diego, there isn't too much improv. Chicago, so, there's a lot. In Chicago, there's a lot. In San Diego, improv was always, I felt, kind of really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but in Chicago, uh, and there is a lot of bad improv, but the good people who are good at improv are really incredible at it. In fact, like, it's kind of blown me up. It's one of those things I've like, oh, I cannot ever it, do. Yeah, you see yeah. someone who's good at improv, you're like, okay, I get it. And there's not much crossover between the scenes in Chicago. Improv, people do improv. Sometimes, like, people start one and go to the other, but there's not too many people who do both pretty actively. Yeah. Because um, they're pretty different. They're, like, different forms of comedy, and you kind of have to practice. Um. But yeah, I like improv now a lot. I would go, I would go, I can go see a stand-up show just to enjoy it. It's really hard for me. Um, there's only a couple comedians I like enough where I can just enjoy a show without being mad in the back. Um, <laughs> what do you get mad at? Just like, just someone who's bad, I get mad. So I, does you want like to perform? You there. always want to perform, yeah. right? Especially if it's a cool show. Do you mm. kind of burn a little bit? Or even if like, they're good and you want to get better, so you start thinking about like, oh, I want to be better. Mm -hmm. I've tried, I've tried really that. hard to to stomp out this mentality because like something I do a lot is like I'll watch something that like has a lot of views or like a director like like got their launch on or something and I'm like this is terrible yeah and, I, and I'm like so quick to like analyze it and like think of the reasons why it's bad and I'm realizing what I'm doing is being like feeling like I deserve to be in that spot no completely uh, but, but like I'm not not in that spot I'm trying think, to like remember that I think that's why people, it's easy to like not get better at things because once you start like once you get better at something you start having an ego and then everything you see becomes some sort of like reflection on your ego. Either it's better than you or it's worse than you. But yeah, you yeah. Just it to yeah, yourself. So you're constantly being challenged mm, or right. it feels like you're being challenged. I just tell my chat about this a lot. You, what about what? Comparing. It's bad. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. You teach them that lesson? I tell them all the time. When's the last time you told them this lesson? Maybe a week ago. What was the context? It's mm, a good question. <laughs> Can't remember. That's okay. Oftentimes it's viewership. Mm. The love viewership. They'll compare. I'm higher viewership than someone, lower viewership than someone. Man, they hit you with a snore real early this episode, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you used up that power. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and clawed back. I, I had something I was going to ask you. I forgot. We, we can never do this in the AM again. Dude, you're useless. Ever. You're sunset. Do you understand? You're not going to be here in episode 102. 102, I'm not going to be here. You're not going to be 101, here. 101, I'm standing tall right now as we speak in front stop, of God. Stop, Correct yourself. 101. Yeah. Right now. I'm standing. Standing. Yep. In front of God. Thank you for excluding the tall. Continue. Wow. Hey. Ludwig, everyone. I don't get it. He called you short. Wow. I just don't like when you, when you jump tall on yourself. Ugh. Wait, actually, we're done? Yeah. Holy I, time flies I had when one, you're more, one more question for you. Hit me. Because you're you you're pretty good. You're pretty good at chess. You're pretty good at melee. Presumably good at other things. There's like this array of things you enjoy dumping your time into. And right now you're at this comfortable place where you can kind of do comedy and like pursue your PhD. You yeah. don't necessarily have to pick a side. But if is there anything like outside of those two things that if it could suddenly become your career and all the success would come with it? Would you, mm. do, you like if you could play player? melee full time for a million dollars a year? Would you do that instead? Um, I don't. I think I'm a comedy person at heart. I think comedy is always my favorite thing of all the things I do. So that would always be like, if I need to do comedy the way I want, that probably would be it. But so you get your fucking PhD in neuroscience, and then if you could just be a comedian, you would just do that. I think so. But being a com, I think like I think full time comedy in general has a lot of things that just come with it that I don't want to do. Like. I don't like, like, just the travel. I mean, this sounds dumb, but just, you're just traveling a yeah, lot. You don't get to have a routine in your place. Like, I want to be, like, a, like a city comic. Like, really I love Ludwig. living in the city and Traveling doing comedy. Sucks, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You admit, like, get a moped, watch the sunset. No, yeah. It, yeah. he's very friend, smart. Like, he's being very smart. You guys are just, no, don't talk about too much. That you might <laughs> have a romantic feeling for. It's not, 
he's a cool guy. <laughs> I think you're right that routine is very important in life, and you lose routine when you travel. Yeah. Simple. That's why he doesn't like traveling anymore. I hate traveling. You lose routine. You don't hate traveling. Yeah. You were going to go to Brazil for one day. I, do, I would not because I like traveling. It's because I love. Oh, because you don't want to like. You don't like Brazil. You heard it here first. Ludwig hates Brazilians. Well, and you know who doesn't hate Brazilians is Dia. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know that. We're not positive, but we can find out. Because uh, two days after this airs, we're going to premiere his comedy special on our channel live. We made it. We made it. He did all the he did the hard part. And we made it with our money and our eyes and our brains. And our butts, and too. And our butts. Our butts were in there. <laughs> getting all fucking gross. Yeah, so, so, hey, two days. Come back to this channel. We're going to live premiere the comedy special. Uh, it's Dia, man. Hope Thank you guys thanks enjoy for coming it. on. Hope yeah. you enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, having me. Yeah. Uh, you know, cool like, do, you any, do you have a social you shout out? Do you anything you want to say or shout out? It doesn't have to be your social. Just whatever you want is your stuff. moment. Yeah, I guess my Twitter. Yeah. You say you... Okay. What a ringing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it is funny. I, I must be the first person where if you doodle me, my LinkedIn comes up first. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> first LinkedIn. You should try to be the biggest comedian on LinkedIn. That'd be devastating if, like, I put all this effort into this thing and only my LinkedIn goes viral. Like, none of the other parts <laughs> of my career. You would crush at all the corporate events. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You could become a corporate comedian like that one guy, and I'm sure that wouldn't feel bad. Yeah, I'm get some pouches. Let's get some yonder pouches. <laughs> some pouches. <laughs> I'm your phones in pouches. Are you going to the University of Chicago? Uh, Northwestern. Okay, that's yeah, ins- like, that's impressive. It's a good really? college. Is it? It's a very good college. Yeah. What's their mascot? Go Bears. Wild cats. Go cats. Go yeah. cats. Just bitch. the cats. Oh, it's yeah. like High School Musical. <laughs> yeah. Is that in Chicago? No, it's not. Do you know Zac Efron? No. Hey, <laughs> for the audio listeners, what's your uh, Twitter? Because they're not seeing it on uh, screen. Dia Comedy. D-I-Y-A. At Dia, I'll think. Yeah. Look, I was going to be a little scared if it was Dia Bass Fry. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, there's about like 30 different ways. Oh, yeah. You did onion stuff. Remember when you'd send me onion stuff? Yeah. And That's I got my it. claim to fame. Did I not yeah. ask you in this if you still write for the onion? So, actually, I'm just inactive as of like two weeks ago. They have like a ro- active roster. So mm-hmm. now I don't really do it anymore. Sexually oh, okay. inactive on the onion head. Mm-hmm. Dia would send me onion headlines and I'd give him my critique. And I was at my old job and just like fucking off. And I was like, we're building something. And I got it. I mean, this is for my submission packets. And then... Yeah, he was yeah. telling me how it works. Like, you have to submit 25 headlines. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, because he said they only pick one person, and then there's five, like, runner-ups who get... What was it? How did it work again? Like, trials to become contributors. So there's, like, people work in person, but then there's contributors, like, what I was doing, where you just pitch headlines weekly. Oh, wow. So then they always have, like, Do you write the article, too? No. Articles are only written in staff. Oh, that's but so he- funny. But the headline is always written first. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's kind of a fun job to be someone who, like, it's probably more fun to be just the headline person, but the person who, like, gets a headline on their desk in the morning, it's like, write an article. Oh, it's so yeah. much easier. The, the work, it's, it's all done for you. Right. Well, thanks for coming on, bud. We love you so much, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the, the show. Hope you guys enjoyed Dia, Dia, Dia Bears. Um, Ludwig is, you know, we are all proud of you, man. Thanks. Sure. No, I'm What'd really... What'd you say? No, I was talking to Ludwig. Yeah, why, why would you do that oh. to him? <laughs> no, I was, yeah, We're all proud about, of you too, man. Thank you. I'm not proud of you, bro. <laughs> and, and, proud of me? and we'll see you in, we'll see you in the be. Patreon episode, which comes out on Patreon. We won't see you. Patreon. No Brazilians allowed. No, Brazilians no, are Brazilians totally Not a fine. single one. Brazilians are, we're not going to Brazil anymore. I don't want to hear Brazil. shit. Don't bring it up like that, asshole. Goodbye, no, you, goodbye, you deserve everyone. that, and we'll tell you why. Get us out. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Yeah. And then earlier today, I was making fun of your water bottle. He told me to kill myself. Yeah. See, that's the difference between me and you. You only say it on the show. Kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I, I say it, it and to, mean it. When I say it to you, you mean yeah. it. I just, I say it like.